Right, hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Damien Burns, and we're going to show you today how to use the ASCII machine, the Advanced Spinal Mobilization Instrument. And today we have two victims. One, ah, this one I'm going to show you how it works on the back like this. You're right. We are real live. <laughs> This is Yorick. <laughs> oh, my noble or Yorick. Yeah, alas. Oh, alas, alas for Yorick. He's a better red than I am. <laughs> right, okay, let's get, let's get on with it. Yes, enough Shakespeare. So what the pan, what the pan machine does... So what the pan machine does in, in the anti-spasm mode... <laughs> Because it goes up and down the spine, and either side of the muscles, it takes the spasms out of the muscles in the paraspinal muscles. Then what happens is we use the mobilisation mode, and we put the um, machine either side of these things, and it stretches. You can see that. Can you see that? It stretches the ligaments either side of the, the one vertebrae next. A really nice smooth motion. And having stretched those ligaments, this mode here is the tapping mode, the reflex mode. And what this does is this stimulates all the reflexes along the spine. And the newly stretched ligaments, just for a few minutes, are loosening up so that the, the vertebrae can jump back into the correct place. Because after a fall, they'll have been knocked out of alignment and banged together and twist, twisted slightly. And they've been like that for years. So we loosen the paraspinal muscles with the anti spasm mode. Then we stretch the ligaments, which is what we call the mobilization mode, but it's probably better called the, the ligament stretching mode, just slightly stretching those tight, tight, tight ligaments, and jam tight for ages. And when they're loosened a bit, we get we hop it to the, the um, reflex mode, to stimulate the reflex nerves, and get the vertebrae just to very, 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 bit by bit, jump back into their correct place. So that's the basic thing how it works. Okay, so, Ed today is quite a very good example. <laughs> He doesn't particularly have any back pain at the moment. And just because you don't have back pain doesn't mean to say you don't have a very bad back. Pain is like the last bit of a bad back. But your back does awful, a lot, a lot of stuff, and around it are lots of nerves which are very busy doing things. And you can have a very bad back that's very badly jammed, causing all sorts of problems with the nerves, not doing things correctly, feeding the organs, repairing the joints, putting in blood to the head, and controlling the heartbeat and various different, the, the spinal nerves and all sorts of things around the body. And it can be so bad, but still be under the pain threshold. Ed here has no pain, because he has no pain, doesn't mean he doesn't have a bad back. He was telling me that he has a bit of a tight bit here on the, a lump here, on the, there? On the lower right side. And there's a big lump. A big lump, we're going to see if we can see that on the camera. And um, we're going to fix it for him. You fell over in Waitrose, so you're on recording now. You fell over in Waitrose and hurt your sacrum? Yes. Um, how long ago was that? Oh, a month or two ago. A month or two ago. So let, we're going to see what we can do about... Uh, I've got a parking this. ticket, I was going to sue them. I should have done. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Now this neck here, uh, I don't know you can see that coming out here, this neck is way too much, it's too prominent. You'll see cells oh. sticking out too much. Uh. Now this part of the thing, this part of the mini brain in front of this, Oh. Is what controls a lot of the heartbeat, uh -huh. um, so you get heart problems if they have a problem here. Uh, it controls the repair of the arms and the hands, so you can have all sorts of arthritis, it oh, health right. problems. Guitar player. Guitar player, yeah, the fingers. And it controls the flow of blood to the head and to uh -huh. the eardrums, so you can get tinnitus, you can get migraines and lots of headaches if you have a problem here. Do you have any of those symptoms, sir? No, my hands hurt sometimes, <laughs> but you fixed one of them. Oh yeah, I fixed one of his hands last yeah. night. So. Okay, can you see that extra bump he has on his neck. We're going to get that to calm down and it oh. seems to be slightly, yeah. But we're going to show that reducing later on. Now he was saying also that he has a, a problem on the lower back. Yes. Just about, just about, about there? About, but, but, yeah, about, well, there's a lump there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, just about there. About here, it goes ping every few years, okay. once in a while. Tips in a little bit more than that. It should kills do. me for a few. Okay, so we're going to 
we should be able to get rid of this um, tight spasm here. Uh, That's what's called a spasm. Uh -huh. And it's not a cramp, it's just the, body, the, the muscles in per permanent flexion. What's right. happened is, he's had a fall, and the vertebrae have got squashed together. The facet joints, which join one vertebrae to the next, they have lots of... Hey, put some on top of your neck. The facet joints... Ah, sorry! What's that? It's, it's, it's my skeleton. Oh, <laughs> the facet joints... You're right. The facet joints here, which join one vertebrae to the next, they have lots of nerves in them, preceptive, I think they call them. Um, and they, when they're squashed together and jammed out of place and they get bruised, they send a message to the paraspinal muscles uh, the side to provide to go into a spasm, to contract, and to provide a, a, protective cor a protective corset, as it were, while the healing goes on. But if you have a very bad fall, that protective corset stays for years and years and years, and itself it puts pressure on the joints, and they never heal. And the, the only way they know to ask for more help when they're in stress is ask for more spasm. And so you end up in a situation like this. So we're going to, when we'll be, we'll be reducing the spasm here, and then we'll be mobilising these joints, stretching them, and then tapping them back into place. So the, 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 these joints will be facet joints will not be so jammed together, and they'll be um, we won't send the signal out, and the spasm will go. And that's how you fix the bad back. This one here, yeah, just there. Yeah. And you'd never really noticed that before, yourself. Mm, not really. Not really. No. So if you have a knee grain no. or heart problems, never check your whoever you are. Check your neck here to see if you have this issue. Because it's going to be hot tamale. I've got slight, slightly high blood pressure. Well, this this therapy, oh. as it helps sort of the heart out a lot, oh. uh, it will often sort out blood pressure problems as well. Right. I put some olive oil on the back as a lubricant. Uh, I now have a, a wrist strap on to protect my wrist a little bit. Uh, I generally start about here, about the high T's, and go down that, like that. Uh -huh. And then I, to do the neck, I start here and I, I go upwards. Uh -huh. as a, but you can, you, can, you can go from any which way to Sydney. This is the anti mode. Right. Oh, yeah. How's that feeling? Oh, that's alright, yeah. Okay. Terrible patient. <laughs> uh, did you feel anything else that you have to spot in this? Yeah, there, there's definitely a bit of a dip here. Um, oh, right. that's where it always goes ping. That's where it goes ping when it dips. Yeah. And have you ever been to the doctor about your bad back? Oh, God, yes, the proxy. Have, have they ever taken your shirt off to look at your back? Uh, uh, look at the like, MRI results and stuff? No, 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 no just the proxy. Uh, they just give you tablets. Drugs. So they haven't looked at this dip in your back? No. After how many years ago? Your back, your I doctor? did used to go to a chiropractor 20 odd years ago when mm. Isabella was little. That's his daughter. My back went pink. Mm -hmm. At that time she was two, I think. But luckily Uncle Steve was there to help to lay mm. on the floor. Uh, yeah, one of them. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to now do the reflex node. Um, and one of the great things about doing the reflex at the beginning is it lets you know where the super tight bits are because they oh. sometimes it jumps up like crazy. And it's tight, tight here, but it's not super crazy, so it's not too bad. Which is probably why you don't have back pain as such. Oh, really? Is that sore there? I don't know, no, it's just uh, Just a shock of it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, oh. uh, Let's start um, the, the moment. Now, there's two techniques of mobilisation. Well, I suppose there's three if you really think about it. The first one you see a lot of people do is like when you drive the car the first time round, you barely are in control of the car, but actually you can still go down the road quicker than Usain Bolt could do if you ran. So you can still do something very useful by having... And basically what's this? You switch the machine on, mobilisation mode. You put the machine either side of the vertebrae, and you go up and down the spine, and you hold on for dear life, basically. You go, where is it going? I don't know. Where is it going? I don't know. Oh, I'm not, what's happening on DP? I don't know. And this is what will happen when you first do this therapy. You'll, now, then you'll have finished. And so that's basically the stretching, and then you do the, the reflex mode. And having done that, you'll say to yourself, oh, I'm glad I got to the end without anything happening. What, was that any use? 
And the patient will often stand up and go, that's the best back deep trout therapy I've had, ever had in my life. I have to go three times a week to a chiropractor for 20 years. Yeah. Um, so even when you do it really, really badly, it's still such an amazing machine, you can get very good results. But what we're going to do is show you some, uh, the two techniques to, uh, to do it properly. One, what we want to be doing on the mobilisation mode, or stretching the ligaments, is because ligaments have got a lot of like elastic tissue in them, what we want to do is we want to sort of pin the, pin the, t pin the vertebrae down before we stretch it. So what we basically do is we, we push in, and then as the pistons rise up, we rise up with it, but at a slower rate than the pistons want. So there's still pressure on them. Let me show you, see if I can show you that. So you push in, and you are rising up. So as air goes in the pistons, the pressure that goes into the piston rises as you over the duration of the stroke, as it were. And so the first bit you grab hold of and don't move. And then you once you start to feel that you've gripped and pinned the vertebrae down, then you release a little bit so you still have them pinned and you basically try what if you remember what you're trying to do. You basically, you're, they're all jammed up here, and right. you're trying to basically stretch those ligaments in between the vertebrae. And some of the, the, some of the ligaments go from jump over um, one or two the vertebrae, but basically the idea is to do a gentle stretch. You, you, you pin them down, and then you release, you sort of let them stretch after you pin them down, so you're in total control. And if you sort of... Um, to generally push down, and you have the vertebrae here, and there's lots of tension, that, and that, because we're dealing with bad backs, which means they're not in the same shape as they would be on a, 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 a straight an anatomical picture. A lot of these vertebrae are skewed off to the side, and it's twisted down, and twisted here, and all sorts of bits and pieces. So, and when they move like this, they, they move in funny ways, and they kick up, um, if you allow them to. So the first thing you have to do is just pin them down, by way of some pressure, and then release them gently. And then we tap them through, and we just wash and repeat. So that's the, that's the, first, now, that's the first technique to use. The adaption of that technique is having got it... So let's do that again. And rising, hold and rise, hold and rise slowly, hold and rise slowly. And the, the next part to enhance this uh, and, and enhance, the, enhance the therapy a lot is give a little push at the end. Now the push doesn't come from your arms pushing down, it comes from your shoulders, your whole body weight. Um, just a little push at the end. A little push at the end. Hold forever. Little push down. That's the sound of the air compressor filling up there. And then we tap through. quite loose. You still keep your grip on there so you know, it doesn't fall on the floor when right. you're doing the reflex mode because you want it to bounce and you want the, 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 the bounce that you're after. Now, the spine here, head spine, as it, it's coming up quite a lot here, it does, it's got a bit, a bit of a, a dippy type twist here. Um, so we will get rid of that in a moment or two as well. And then you you can feel the spine by very well by having your fingers out the side. But if you, pr instead of pressing down with the fingers you're feeling the spine with, either side of the spine, if you press down with the other hand and don't press down with the hand you're feeling with, it sort of enhances the. There's a very tight, muscle type thing there. Let me put the camera at a better angle. You fell off your bike, you know? yeah, in the ice in, the, in York in 1983. Okay, and what do you hit everywhere? Fellow, just a big mess. Yeah, yeah. That's the sort of thing here that this thing would be caused by that type of fall. Okay. It's, it's a whack bang sort of call up. Now, had you had that fall as a child, right. that would be very difficult to fix. Still fixable, but when you right. have a growth, when you have growth after an injury, but when yeah. you, if you have the, the fall as an adult, even if you're then 80, it's so much easier to fix.
So with this technique. Right. Let's get on to the uh, next bit. Uh, here. Sometimes, so you can't have an x ray with two minutes of the other therapy. It's not very mm. So, you kind of keep up to date as you keep on testing where the spine is as you go through. So the second technique is to, instead of holding the piston down, and then sort of, as it were, and then coming, instead of it being sort of a hold down and then kind of come up like this, in terms of how you at least, you come up, you're still holding, the, certainly, hold, still, certainly pinning the vertebrae down, but you're going to come up a little bit faster, so you don't pin them down quite as much. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of it holding it down, holding it down, holding it down, and coming up in a sort of a curve like that at the end, in terms of time and pressure, or in terms of distance. Um, this time we're going to come up with the pressure a little bit sooner, which then gives us an extra quarter of a second to be able to, well the pistons are full of uh, to do a larger push down. Well, the first one was doing a very small push down at the second, at the, at the, and this one is going to be doing the push down like a, like a quarter of a second, half a second perhaps. While the the, the air, while the pistons are full of air, and that's a second, a more advanced stroke. Mm -hmm. um, but it's usually good to start with the first one to make sure a you stretch the ligaments and the spine, mm -hmm. and b you get to know the spine, you get to know where the twists are, you get to know where the the awkward bits are. And um, so this is what we're going to do now. Moving on to the slight, I don't know if it comes across in the video. A slightly different timing on this technique. Uh -huh. feel the, the twist in the spine about here a lot less twisted um, and so we now have a nice good base because the neck is sits on the disc and this is very connected to well they're all connected I, I often like to start about here and get that nice and stable and then work either side which is a very important part despite people have pain here the muscles up here have got very long tendons down to this part of the body and a bit like a lever a small problem here can cause a massive problem here, so do the whole back basically. What happens is a lot of people have a, a back pain in one part, it's not just that part that needs to be treated, that back pain will have been caused classically by some fall, some knock that's affected the whole spine, you're just feeling the pain here, but that's like the worst part of where you're, where you're feeling the symptom, 
but the cores can be a lot further along unless you do treat the whole bag. You may not get the whole thing to go and stay gone. And we're not just about getting rid of the back pain, we're about getting, rid of, getting the back healthy so it does everything else it's meant to do at um, maximum efficiency. as it were, uh, this time. I'm going to use it lengthwise this wise. Uh, so some of the ligaments cover two. Oh. A bit tight there. Oh. A room. Uh, oh, I don't know. We're all boys, so let's say, friends, you're in the, you know, the, the, the classic thing is a, a, a classroom full of boys in a boys' school, uh -huh. and then you're in there with the windows closed or whatever. You're doing geography lesson, and then you disappear for a few minutes to do a, a message for the teacher. And uh -huh. you come back and you realise there's no earth. Right. We've got 32 sweaty teenage boys with gym bags and trainers and all yeah, sorts yeah. of that. What happens is your brain gets used to smells. Uh, and it, it ignores it. And your, your back has been in pain here for years. Oh, is it? But you haven't noticed this. No. Um, so when people say, oh, I've got back pain, right. but these nerves up here are being jammed because I, I just do a little bit of. I've just done a very bit of small bit of mobilisation at very low level. And right. you look, oh, I can feel that's tight, tight, tight. It's been like that for years. Oh. Uh, in front of this is a mini brain that controls everything. So much. It's called a stellate ganglion. Ah. Star ganglion. Because it's, it's a bit busy. It's a lot of stuff down. Ooh. So that's. 
you wouldn't know how many years. Well, it's, it's post childhood. Right. And I know that because it's moving. Oh. And had this been done in childhood, it would move yeah. with after about five, oh. six goes, ten goes. But as it's moving on the first go, if possibly just the recent fall you had, uh-huh. either in Waitrose on the slippy fall, yeah, or well, that was really or a bicycle fall, or that was thirty, forty years ago. Yeah, but you had grown up by then. gone down. Oh. But it's still a little bit less. We'll give that a rest for a few minutes. Right. And we'll come back to it later. Or we'll come back to it on the next session depending on how, if you're ready for more here. Because you can't always get everybody fixed on the first go. No. It happens, it happens. But we're having a ready for more. Yeah, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give it a rest for a few minutes and we'll yeah. move over to the back, lower back.
the first time I went there, uh, it was super tight, and it was very sore for you. Uh, Have you just got used to the pain, or was the pain was it less that time? Uh, yeah, it was less, I think. Okay. Uh, it's the same power. Right. Um, so yeah, it sounds like it, things are loosening up. Ah, is it worth? Is it? Does it work better if it's on a higher power? No, well, there's a question. Um, I. The answer is ultimately yes. Uh, but I get a lot of stuff done on low power, then I move to medium power, then I move to high power. But often people are fixed by the time you, you got there. Oh, right. So I, I, you're on at the moment low power. Right. And then as you, this goes down and you get more used to it and stuff, uh. you, you move higher and higher and higher. That was power uh. three. Okay. So uh, I think you're okay for power five. You won't go any higher than that though today. Oh. That's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to go further down? Huh? You're going to go further? Yes, just that you had a bit of a tight spot there, so just releasing oh, okay. all the uh, muscles. Oh, right. Tapping your nails. That was just a bonus. Oh, right. So that's good. As it's the short end of the lever. Right. So a small movement in your arm uh, ends up on a big, big pressure on the back. Gotcha. Um, and so even when you do stretching exercises to stretch the spine, mm -hmm. a lot of that will end up as a compression. Right. And different by this muscle to that muscle to that tendon, and that will be very complicated chains. Often end up as compression on the spine. But the poor spine gets it all the time. Yeah. It's an amazing thing, it just it, and it survives. Yeah. And the only thing that it doesn't like is if you get hit by a motor car, yeah. falling off a horse. Okay. Oh well, that pretty much counts with everything. Yeah. Hello. It doesn't like sit-ups. No. Well, it's done a death as I. You don't see monkeys. No. In a while, do 300 sit ups in the morning before eating some nuts. No. It's um, close to the back. It's a twist, or to bend. And then you put a lot of pressure on the spine by all those kind of muscle change to, yeah. to sit up. In fact, the US Navy has now stopped doing them as part of its uh, <laughs> fitness test because it wreck it all the sailors. Yeah. The rest of the world's military hasn't caught up yet. But yeah. I'm, all this now, I'm not actually doing any pushing down here at all. Really? I'm just um, letting, all the, letting the pistons do all the work. Right. Because your lumber in this area is a little bit unstable. Right. So, um, well, I'm making sure I've got... Uh, I'm, all I'm doing is putting it down and yeah. letting the piston stretch. Right. Rather than doing any sort of like extra push afterwards. Oh, okay. Well, actually, that's the second time I've been down here doing that. The right. first time I could feel loads and loads of kick-ups. Okay. Which I didn't want to push down on because you weren't sure, you know, I don't want to push down my angle type stuff. So now you can. I haven't done it particularly this time, but that's actually a lot better yeah. than the first time. Did that feel better, less painful? Yeah. For the first time. Yeah. The little lumber now is a lot better than the first time. Yeah. Exactly. A lot, lot, lot better. Thank you. 
getting a bit tender up here at the top. How is it? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, is it the Uh, not really. Not no. really, okay, right, okay. No, actually, that is... Is that good? That is good. I'll let it actually add yeah, less twist in the whole point. Uh, Let's see what the... Okay. Was it bad to begin with? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, and when I was going down the... It was lumpy, I was getting all sorts of the, 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 the things, and, that, and I was dipping here, and the dip is not so much. The dip was released a little bit too. This is, this is Rudolph. Oh, yeah, I'm the whole red face. Yeah. Never mind the red nose. He's been yeah. lying down. So, get, or when you're finished, get up off the couch nice and slowly. Uh, the nice curved couch here, so you don't. Um, Indeed. So it's all curved. Yeah, so you don't. You get, you, the blood goes right. Turn around the Oh, that'd be great. And hopefully this video will be good, you know, help part of the training that people get to see what happens. Not just what the machine can do, but, you know, to use it better. Right. It's, it's, you, know, you, you have a tennis racket. Right. You know, there's different ways to use it to mm. get the uh, best result. Ah, oh, yes. You won't do the top bit there last time. 
Is that feeling tight? Yeah, it's nice. Okay, it's going to I think, you know, I mean, you can so, sometimes when you can't get somebody in, in, on, the, on the thing because they, yeah. they can't lie down, then yeah, we stick on chair. It's a bit awkward doing the back like this. We don't really put too much pressure on it, the gravity, as it were, no. until you get this. But it, if nothing else works, then we get them on the chair. <coughs> Power three. Oh, oh that looks tight. Oh, this is doing it on every vertebra. Yeah. How many are there? Are you filming this? Yes, I can. How many vertebrae are there? You've got seven in the neck. Right. And then you've got twelve thoracic, which means they're attached to a rib cage. Oh, yes. They're attached to a rib. Sorry, not, not a rib cage. Right. Um, and then you have five lumbar. Uh-huh. And then... You have the sacrum and the coccyx. Uh-huh. The sacrum is created by five vertebrae. So how many were up the top here? Seven. Seven on the neck. And then 12. Same as a giraffe. Okay, and then 12 on the thoracic. And then how many in the lumbar? Five. Five, so that's 24. Yeah. You say it's sort of just coloured as it was. It? No, there's coloration on the back. There's, I don't know if you can see, see on the camera there. Is on the lower back. Uh-huh. It's essentially gone. gone. So it looked like a bruise. And it's yeah, it doesn't it look like I was all purple earlier on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Constantly. Probably for years. <laughs> and now it isn't. This, as you can see, a little bit red up top, but uh-huh. it's getting. So, does that feel better? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost unrecognisable to me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's like fixing guitar decks. Yes, go on, but what's the matter then? Well, because you get all the frets are, can be all out of joint. Yeah? There's things where someone was comparing a, a factory bought fender or something. Yeah. And he'd go up and down and he'd say, oh yeah, the sixth fret's too high and the mm-hmm. third fret's a bit low or something, we'd have to do this and sand it all down. Not that we'd sand, sand the fret bits yeah. down and stuff, so I guess it's... Same I know. Same way, same way. Yeah. yeah. You're a guitar, Ed. You're a guitar. <laughs> I want to be made into a guitar. <laughs> I 
think that is the well, well tell me you buy it. It's wow. 90% better. Wow. I'd have to say that is probably the, the time to pull the end of the session. Uh -huh. Right, so you know, I'll get some I'll get oil off your back. Oh, oh, you can leave it on. Oh, I'll leave it on. It's only olive oil. Hey, up you get, man. Up you get. Oh. Cool. Wow. Yeah, you know, the last time you did it, I was, I think before I was trying to resist it, and I was, or, 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 or just naturally res resisting it. And I yeah, that's like a nice and let me zoom out. Watch, let's zoom in a bit actually. Zoom in out. So that, the, if we want to look, look straight, uh -huh. that, that is uh -huh. massively lower down than it had been. Wow. I, I don't know if that's going to come out on the video. Sometimes things don't show on the video. No. You kind of want them to do. Uh, I think that is, you have got a new uh, back and shoulders, and uh, so yeah, hoo ha. Uh, is that nearly done as well? Yeah, the, the, the bottom bit, let's have a look at the bottom bit. As you can see, with the bottom bit there, is. There is let me zoom out a bit so you can uh, get, see what we're looking at. There, you've got more of a dip than you should have. But when I, just put, when I first did this, that whole area was. was purple basically, boots, yeah. very boots. It's all gone now. Oh. That means the drainage is working, that means white blood cells can get in there, right. fix what, start to get some stuff and fix whatever's uh, done in there. That'll mean less ouches, less, well, my back's gone. Um, right. So that's less. on the road to recovery. <coughs> and that's very good. Bit going pink. And the other thing is when I first went down, in fact the whole back, but also this part here, that yeah. was like, oh wow, very tight, very, very tight all the way down here. I had to go very, very tight with the machine right. and not push down, just push, hold the, the vertebrae tight, right. pin them down, let the pistons do the thing, and it, I did no push at all. Right. Because I just, cause they were kicking up and twisted out of shape and they were doing all sorts of funny things. Right. And um, then the second time round, that was a lot more stable. So just one go, uh -huh. a very light mode, uh, stabilised that. So I had two goes down there. Right. And that's the whole, that whole area is a lot better. Mm -hmm. That is a new back at the top. <laughs> and this is a, also, that, I mean, that, that was all higgly-piggly. Not oh, maybe really? when you first started. But, so yeah, that's... Uh, but what you, because you didn't mention the middle bit being higgly-piggly. Oh. Yeah, no, it, it, this where I, I start here, this is the first, but I, I, it's just a way I, I, appro I start. I, I always start here, kind of, and it gets, it's one of those... Was it sort of... It's one of those getting to know you things. Right. It's, it's like the, what's it called, the safest part of the back, you know. It's, it's not lumbar, you're not jumping into the lumbar, you're not right. on the, It's a good little area where you get to see how the whole back's it. And the, from there, on, you get this bit nice and stable, and right. smooth out. And then you can use that as a base to uh, go down. You go, oh, it's a bit tight here, go back a bit, a bit tight right. there. And then you go a bit, oh, okay, okay, that bit's a bit looser. Then you, and you have it, it makes your running jump, actually. And you keep coming back to that bit, and you, you start moving here. Uh, and then you do the same with the neck. You take up to the neck. You start on the bit. You've got stable here, right, and then move you. up and move up and move up and move up and so move up and move up. Like tuning, you're trying to tune. Yeah, you're going to get it all synced together. But yeah, that's uh, mm. that is a hoo ha session. Ooh, oh good. Was it a yeah, it's a good, it's high good. five? High five. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What are you saying? Well, how are, you, are you feeling looser? Yeah, looser? yeah, yeah. It's uh, definitely that feels feels much better. Yeah, that's it's it's not going to ping back again, is it? No, no, no. I stuck out, stuck out like a pyramid, didn't I? Oh, yes, it did. There was, it was a pointy bit. It was like a yeah. nose. And this bit here is less likely... Is that means it's all going to go... This bit here is going to get stronger, is it? So it's less likely to go ping. Well, there's more oxygen getting there, more blood cells getting there, so less likely to get ping, and it's more, right. and less of a spasm. There, yeah, that bit there, that's there as well. Yeah. Just there. Yeah, and that, well, that was... Well, when I first went over that, it was wonderfully wobbly and kicking up. Right. The second time around... A lot more stable. Uh, it, it is like a guitar neck. Yeah, it's all. There's a lot of elastic. Um, mm. Elastin is, I think, the the, um, the fibres they cut in lots so of. So put your shirt back on. Yeah, put your shirt back on. And, and they're very springy. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, here, and yeah. So they're very springy these things, oh, and they're very that. tight, and they're in the wrong position. And the thing is, the back knows. Right. Um, the back sort of thinks it's in the right position all the time. Right. So it tries very hard to keep itself keep right. it, keep it, it thinks it's doing the right job. So you've got to kind of like pin it down, stretch it, it out, and then it's the reflex kind of like gets it to the back. And then when it realises, oh, 
now I'm in the right position again. Right. And so you, you keep on. So if I'm just doing normal things, I'm not going to pull it, push it back in, back out of shape, will I? I shouldn't have thought so. But it's, given the improvement we've had so far, uh, it depends what normal things are. Um, well, just sort of walking around. Oh yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, some, some people's normal thing is jumping <laughs> up airplanes. So. Right. Or or gardening or something else. So yeah. yeah. So normal normal stuff is is uh, giving up on the house. Well, it's not being recorded, is it? Oh yeah, we won't. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> We're off for a beer. Get We're off for a beer. beer. Yes. Oh, yeah. Am I taller? I feel a bit taller. So at pretty much everybody stands up and go, I feel taller. Yes. And. Um, the answer is yes. You, you, we, we, we've got the mm. that when that was when your vertebrae was like that at the top, and now it's like that. Well, the head's going to be high, right? right. And the, the, the gap and the button was straightened, and all the way, all the vertebrae in the middle that were twisted that way, twisted that way, and now out. We give you an extra little half a millimeter, and then they add up over twenty-four. Well, twenty-four right. half millimeters is a, is a, an inch. Yeah. Uh, it's, you get the biggest improvement with people's scoliosis. Of course. Because they have, they well, have well, obviously, if they've got really shitty backs, then it's going to yeah. make a big improvement. Whereas I didn't think I had anything wrong much. I, and so, people come out of this one session and they're like, wow, I really feel taller. And they don't just feel taller. You notice that you notice it's a little yeah. taller. And they come back. And, but you never quite know. I don't measure people before they come in and go out. No. But they come back the next week and go, everybody says, you're not taller, you're not taller, <laughs> you're not taller. And then, uh, oh, so yeah, got a bit more. Oof, to you. Right, so that ah. so that is fixed. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is fixing a bad back. When he doesn't have a bad back, he wasn't really. It was all right. Well, was a bit niggly here and there. Lots of stuff wrong with the back. Lots of stuff right with the back now. Yeah. And a few more sessions, yeah. and it'll all be fine. Well, it is a bit like because there's the guitar. You've got the bottom bits that you always use. Yeah. The right the which near the open strings, so maybe like five fret. Oh, how many? How many is the the, bottom, the top bit? This bit, the neck bit here. Seven at the top. Seven. Okay, you've got seven frets. Yeah. Okay, which is the bottom bit. Then you've got the middle bit, thoracic twelve, thoracic twelve, which is up to seventh, up to seven, up to nineteenth. Yeah. Uh, so that's twelve and six more. And then you've got the right, top, top few frets at yeah, the bottom. bottom. Yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. five at five the bottom. Five longer and the same. Yes, which you don't. Uh, oh. We maybe do it the other way round. I don't know. Mm. Which which are more likely to be? Is it this bit or this bit? Well, the, the two major accidents people have are one is the fall on the bum. And that right. ricochets the the, the 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 damage up the spine. Right. So the pitch, as you feel the spine, it looks like a train crash. Carriages all over the place, twisted. Gotcha. Now, one of the reasons the back isn't very good at absorbing that shock, it's a bit like the, the discs are hy- use hydraulic pressure, and where if you had something that made a gas, you could squash it, right. and it takes some of the pressure. It's liquid, and actually, it's a bit like a snooker ball. I mean, you have 24 snooker balls in a row. Uh-huh. Hit the base form, bang, it goes right up to the top. And the, the, discs, the discs actually don't absorb any pressure. Mm. They're there to help the vertebrae move from side to side, like a like ball uh-huh. over a socket joint, essentially. Um, and what if, if there's, the only absorption you get is when you have a vertebrae, um, they're actually concave. Right. With the, if this is the size of the vertebrae. And when you get shock, they collapse a bit. Um, right. And so they're the only shock absorbers you really have in the spine. So the classic thing is you form your bomb, it ricochets all the way, damages everything. Right. The worst thing will be the base, and it's not necessarily in decreasing order. It goes up the top. Sometimes the ones in the middle, so that it pa- they pass on the the, da- the, the, right. the shock so much, it hits the C7, gets a big knock, and then right. the, the neck gets a big twist. The other one is you're in a car and you get shunted f- that way. And you get your neck flipped back, right? And the, the, the damage starts pretty much the, the neck and goes down, sort of thing. But it's like that wouldn't go as far. That would go that far down, yeah. would it? But then you also get the full either One of our patients came in. He been on on, on his honeymoon three years previously. First go in a hammock. Oh, by the pool. Well, oh, let's have a go. That's one, two, three. Whoosh, bang! The the, the the side of the pool. Ooh. Three years absolute agony, and he couldn't even touch his back. It was so much pain. Okay. One go of this thing, and the pain's gone. And his pain would cause my damage straight flat on the middle. Of right, the which you never get much. You never get, I don't think the back's really designed to take pain in that direction or shock, but any shock at all. Um, so mm-hmm. to fix his back, I had to use ultrasound on the muscles either side to take the spasm out first before I could even touch him with the machine. And then I used a bit of electricity and then I used the lightest mode and lightest mode and built up and built up and built up until I could do a proper mobilisation mm-hmm. and stretch the ligaments, tap them back mm-hmm. into place with reflex mode. As many stuff here, you know, I'm sorted. Um, you know, all the time consultants they uh, offered him 
zombie pills, basically. Uh, zombie. Oh, uh, naproxen. Yeah. Right, so yeah, that is. Th- thank you for your uh, <laughs> being on video. Well, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> right, and by the way, um, you don't it, you don't have to be psychic to know that Eddie's actually a guitar player. <laughs> and the metaphor every time. <laughs> life is like a guitar. Like. Yes, life is like And actually, it. it's a very good metaphor. It's a metaphor. Yes. All right. Okay, good night. We're off to the pub thing again. We're off to the pub. Beer. Beer isn't going to do itself. No.